Military Appreciation Night as Campbell takes on Chawan in front of over 5,500 in Barker Lane Stadium. First drive of the game, Cam Bryant, a perfect 18-yard strike to Ben Bowling. Bowling with this catch ties CU's career TD reception record. The defense fantastic all night. Ugana Aranye with the sack, just the beginning. The D so dominant, allowing just one yard rushing in the first half. Secondary, pretty good as well. South Carolina State transfer Carlos Merritt with the great interception. And then back on offense, it's Bryant again. Heaves it to Aaron Blockman, who goes up and gets it. Take another look. An amazing catch for Blockman's second TD of the season. David Salmon now in at QB. He continues the air raid, delivering a beauty to Elon transfer Ricky Brown. It's an eight-yard TD. Campbell up 21-0 in the first half. Salmon again, this time delivering a beauty on the slant. Damon Simmons, 19 yards. Campbell up 28-0 at halftime. Campbell's D with six sacks on the night allowing just 127 total yards for the Hawks, only eight yards rushing. And the exclamation point, a 21-yard end around for Angelo Crawford-Reed. Campbell goes to 2-0 on the year with a 35-3 win. Crawford-Reed came out here ready to play some football, and we executed really, really well. Um, in the first half, it was, it was kind of flawless. Um, the defense did a great job of keeping them out of the end zone. Um, the offense was executing. I think we was four for five in the red zone. Um, those type of things right there is what you're looking for from your football team. You know, we got playmakers. We got a good old line. We got, you know, great play callers. So it's just a matter of, you know, me getting the ball to those guys and letting them do what they, letting do, what they do. Like I said, I've been saying, I said it last week, just being a point guard, trying to dish it out and get everybody there assisted. Those guys are so good. You know, they'll, they'll handle the rest. I just got to get it to them. Block them in camp. So we knew they were, were going to be good. Whenever they put everything together, we know they're going to be the best, one of the best in the country, definitely the best in the PFL. So I look forward to watching them really this year.